Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official WoW Insider Weekly Recap. My name is Panzer and today we are going to be talking about the happenings of the first week of Warlords of Draenor. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do remember to rate it thumbs up. So for those of you who do not know, for a very long time I hosted the WoW Insider Weekly Recap until maybe, oh my gosh, it was probably like a year ago, I had to take some time off due to IRL stuff. I know it's hard to believe, but I do have an IRL outside of the interwebs, but none of that matters anymore. It's all in the past. I'm here and I'm back with all of your WoW Insider Weekly TLDR goodness. So without further ado, let's get right into the recap. This Thursday, Warlords of Draenor launched, and before I get into the news <coughs> complaints, I would like to start out this video on a happier note. Let us not forget that BlizzCon 2014 was last weekend, and it was freaking awesome! I did a whole video recapping the announcements, and if you would like to watch that, you can do so by clicking on or around my face. On or around my face, that's where you gotta click to watch it. Or you don't, yeah, I mean, you don't have to click it either, but if you want to, now's your chance. But if you don't feel like clicking on my face, that's fine. That's fine, no hard feelings. Let me give you the lowdown. The first Hearthstone expansion is coming in December, and that is expansion as in new card packs, not expansion as in PvE adventures a la Curse of Naxxramas. StarCraft II Legacy of the Void will be a standalone game, meaning that you will not be required to have Wings of Liberty or Heart of the Swarm. Speaking of HOTS, Heroes of the Storm will be getting some new heroes, some new battlegrounds, and the beta will be out soon. Do you hate Ebola? Well, you can help fight it by adopting this adorable in-game WoW companion little goat pet. 100% of the proceeds will be donated to help with Ebola efforts. And of course, Blizzard announced their newest game, which is a Team Fortress 2 Pixar-style mashup love child of a first-person shooter called Overwatch. It looks freaking awesome, and beta begins in 2015. And I'm gonna play Reaper, because Reaper looks awesome. Aw yeah. I think it's pretty safe to say that was the fastest BlizzCon recap ever. Moving on to Warlords of Draenor news, it's here, it's here, it's here, at least for those of us who are not on Locked Realms. And if you don't know what a Locked Realm is, I would like to congratulate you on somehow avoiding some of the worst social media temper tantrums in the history of gaming. Well done. In an effort to combat latency and lag, Blizzard lowered the maximum population cap on a lot of servers, meaning that less players could be on concurrently. What this meant for individual players, especially those on high population realms, is that their servers were locked and queue times were a lot longer than anyone expected them to be. There is a light at the end of the tunnel though. Players are reporting queue times a fraction as long as they were waiting on days 1 and 2 with much more stable gameplay. I know it sucks waiting, but try to keep in mind that Draenor isn't going anywhere and Blizzard employees are literally working around the clock to try to get everyone in game and playing in a stable environment as soon as possible. Unfortunately, Locked Realms were not the only hardship that Warlords of Draenor faced during its launch. Let's talk about a few of the most popular complaints. Quest Bottlenecking Several quests forced players to click on the same item and often only allowed one player to complete the objective at a time. Now while this was really annoying while it was happening, in retrospect it's not that big of a flaw because after a couple hours of gameplay, the congestion was relieved in those areas and the problem organically fixed itself. Player Bottlenecking Garrisons are obviously a very important part of the leveling experience in Warlords of Draenor. Everyone has one, everyone's gotta be there at some point, and this, this like in and of itself caused a whole wave of stability issues because there's only two locations for garrisons in the whole wide world. There's the Horde spot and there's the Alliance spot, and having everybody all on top of each other like that caused weird lag issues and crazy phasing stuff. It's just, it's safe to say it was not working as intended for a little while there. Player Interactions some people are just jerks. I mean, it is what it is, and Blizzard probably could have put some safeguards in place to prevent, oh, I don't know, people getting on their giant mammoth mounts and then standing directly on quest givers and or objectives, or tossing down toy train sets, or just being general annoyances. DDoS attacks. 
And speaking of jerks, in addition to locked realms and bottlenecking and general trolling and nuisances, Blizzard also had to deal with script kitties who launched a distributed denial of service attack on Blizzard's authentication servers day two of the Warlords of Draenor launch. <sighs> Really? I think I speak for everyone who plays WoW when I say, can you not? I mean, are you just trying to get coal from Santa for Christmas? Because if you want coal, that's how you get coal, for sure. Ho ho no. Just stop it. Cut it out, jerks. Now I know all of this sounds like really, really horrible, but I swear to you, the Draenor launch was not a bad experience for everyone. Yes, there were some players who were plagued with problems from the start, but there were also some lucky and dedicated players who have already made it to 100, some in less than 24 hours. I'm lucky because I'm on a medium population server, so with the exception of a little bit of expected lag and maintenance, I had a fairly drama-free launch experience and my Elemental Shaman hit 100 on Saturday. Now before I wrap this recap up, I do want to remind you of a couple in-game stuff and things that may or may not be helpful. First and foremost, at some point, log on to your level 90 alts to ensure that they will get rested experience whenever you do decide to level them. And the other thing is that in Warlords of Draenor, the legendary ring quest begins at level 98. You pick it up in your garrison, you do that quest, you do one more quest, and then you're rewarded with a level 100 epic ring, and you're on your way to getting the legendary ring. So, do it. Be there, or be square. Get it? Because like a ring, if you don't get the ring, you're not a ring, and a non-ring is square. It's a good joke. I swear. I swear. <laughs> But um, Ching, no, not okay. And that's about it for my recap, guys, but I want to know before I go, what do you do when the servers are down? Now for me, personally, while the servers were being maintained and whatnot right after launch, I napped. I napped like a bear during the winters, like a hibernation period, and I have no regrets about that. It was a good choice. But I want to know what you guys do. Let me know in the comments section below what you do while the servers are down, and be sure to check back next week to see if your comment is in our featured section. And that's it for this week's WoW Insider Weekly Recap. My name's Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed this video, please thumb it up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and be sure to answer our question in the comment section below. If you have any questions or want more information about anything that I talked about in today's video, there are links in the information below conveniently to help you out with all that stuff. Be sure to check back next Tuesday and every Tuesday for future WoW Insider Weekly Recaps and see if your comment made it to our featured section. I'm gonna go, but I hope you are having a wonderful week. Have fun with Warlords of Draenor and don't get too mad at the devs because they love you and they're trying really hard, I promise. I'm gonna go, I love you all, you're in my hearts. I'll see you soon, goodbye, 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 ah! Meaning that you will not need to have Wings of Liberty or <laughs> Wings of Liberty. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. Liberty and justice for all. Only no, because you don't need it. No justice for all. <clears throat> and the big bit bit and the hippity hippity hippity. That's all, folks. Ha ah. <laughs> I think that was a pretty good. That was pretty good. That was a spot on. Reaper impression. <laughs> day one, day two is. <laughs> Who launched distributed denial of service attacks on their authentication servers like the day the expansion came out? Lay Sai. Who does that? Could you not do that, guys? I think I speak for all WoW players everywhere when I say, could you not DDoS Blizzard? That's so rude. So friggin' rude. The, the, Santa's gonna bring you coal this year for sure. For sure, coal. Do you want coal? Because that's how you get coal.